In calculus, we study functions. The two basic operations one can perform on functions are the operation of taking derivative often referred to as differentiation and the opposite operation, namely the operation of finding an antiderivative of a given function. This is often referred to as integration. There are many integration and differentiation rules, but every integration rule has a corresponding differentiation rule. For example, the substitution rule corresponds to the chain rule, and integration by parts corresponds to the product rule. We studied the substitution rule in class last week. This video is about integration by parts. Let's say we have given two differentiable functions, u and v. Consider the derivative of the product, u times v. By the product rule, the derivative is equal to the derivative of the first function times the second function plus the first function times the derivative of the second function. When we integrate both sides of this equation, we get that the integral of the derivative is equal to the sum of those two integrals. The left-hand side of this equation is just u times v because integration cancels differentiation. So we have this formula, which is known as the formula for integration by parts. If we want to emphasize that u and v are functions of x, then we can rewrite this formula as follows. This is exactly the formula for integration by parts. We will use this formula to integrate the function x times cosine x. Here we have a product of two functions, so we will be integrating by parts. First, we need to identify the part that we will be differentiating and the other part that we will be integrating. In this example, we will be differentiating the function x. So let us call this function u. The other part, namely the cosine function, is the part that we will be integrating. So let us call this function v prime. Now, the derivative of x is 1, so u prime is equal to 1. On the other hand, one antiderivative of cosine is the function sine x. So, if v prime is cosine x, then v is sine x. We can choose any antiderivative of cosine. But for convenience, we always choose the antiderivative with the constant of integration 0. Finally, by the formula of integration by parts, the given integral is equal to x times sine x minus the integral of 1 times sine x. This is equal to x times sine x plus cosine x and plus c, where c is any constant. Let us consider another example. To integrate the natural log function, we can rewrite this function as the natural log times the constant function 1. Now, we can integrate this product by parts, as shown below. Here is another example. We will integrate the function x squared times e to the x. And we will use integration by parts two times. First, we let u to be x squared, and v prime to be e to the x. Then u prime equals 2x, and v equals e to the x. So the given integral is equal to x squared times e to the x, minus 2 times the integral of x times e to the x. Now we evaluate this integral also by parts. So let u be the function x, and let v prime to be the function e to the x. Then u prime equals 1, and v equals e to the x. Please pause the video to go over the details. To integrate the function e to the x times sine x, we also use integration by parts two times in a row. As a result, we get this equation, which is two times the initially given integral. So, to evaluate the initially given integral, we just need to divide by 2 and add the constant of integration, as shown below.